Hello everybody, my name is Tanisha with Divine Eat. Thank you for watching my videos. And if this is your first time here, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. So, if it's your first time here, this is like coming to Big Mama's house on Sunday. Everybody sitting around, playing cards, having conversation, just waiting on what Big Mama got coming off the stove. So the Van East is just like Big Mama's house. And today, I'm gonna prepare a mustard maple glaze chicken dish, okay? It's gonna have carrots in it, potatoes, some onions, and everything is gonna go in one casserole dish. We're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna come out and see how it, how it looks, okay? So if you're interested into this recipe, keep watching. So I have a bunch of carrots here, baby carrots. I got about six here, okay? That's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need six carrots. I got about uh, maybe 12 ounces of baby red potatoes. I'm gonna cut up one onion, and I'm also gonna slice a few garlic, uh, cloves in the bottom of it, okay? So the first thing first, I am gonna take and chop the tops off of the carrots. Now you can get the carrots, you can get the carrots that's already, uh, the tops are not on them, but this is what I saw today, so I wanted to get the baby uh, carrots. So I'm gonna slice those off, we're gonna remove those, I may use this for something later, maybe uh, juice it and, you know, clean it and juice it. So, I'm also going to cut the bottoms off. I got me a little trash bag right there, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm taking a potato peeler here and I'm just going to peel the outside of the carrots. Remember, if you're using a peeler, always peel away from you, okay? That way you won't uh, make a mistake and cut yourself. Always peel away from you. So we're gonna cut these up. I mean peel, I'm sorry, peel the outside of them. And then we're gonna cut them in half, okay? After I peel the outside of them, I'm gonna rinse them off and then we're gonna cut them in half. And then we'll go to the next step. So now we have all our carrots peeled. peeled. Now I'm gonna rinse them off. Peel and rinse, peel and rinse. And then we're gonna take our knife and just cut them lengthwise in half. Right in my casserole dish. Slice them right down in the middle. Make sure your knife is sharp. So this is just, this is something that you can prepare takes a good about 10, 15 minutes to prepare it, prep it, and then it's gonna take about an hour in the oven. So we got all our carrots peeled, clean, and cut down the middle in half. I also have, I told you, 12 ounces of baby red potatoes that I already cleaned and having a bowl, and we're just gonna do the same thing. Cut them lengthwise in half. And I'm just gonna sparingly put them in the bottom of the casserole dish. Now, I'm only using three chicken leg quarters today, because it's just me and my brother. And, uh, you know, if somebody want a piece, or an extra piece, it'll be there. But uh, you can definitely use four chicken leg quarters, okay? This meal can feed four people. Use four chicken leg quarters instead of three. I'm just using three because it's just two of us, okay? So now that we got our potatoes cut, 
We got the carrots cut. Now I'm just gonna cut down the middle of my onion. I'm not gonna put the whole onion in here. I just want half of it, okay? So I cut it in half, cut that top off because we don't want that. And then I'm gonna take that first layer of onion off because that first layer is like leather. You don't want that. So take that off and just slice your onions. Now you see how I got my hands folded here. I do that to protect my fingers from the knife, okay? You wanna do that to have your knuckles protect your finger from the knife so your fingers won't get cut. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a few of those at the bottom. Get my minced garlic, okay? Let's get the minced garlic. So I got two cloves of garlic here. I press it down like that just to get your garlic out. Take your knife, bottom of your hand, to get the peel off the garlic. And always have your trash bowl or trash bag nearby so you can. Clean as you go. So now I'm not gonna mess this or anything. I'm just really just slicing them down the middle and in, in half. I just want to fragrant what I'm doing, okay? Now, before we do anything else, I, we want to season our vegetables, okay? So I'm gonna season with some fresh cracked pepper. and some salt. About a teaspoon of salt. Now I got some olive oil here and I'm just gonna drizzle that over my vegetables. And I'm gonna rub it in. Rub it in. Sorry, I just like to have fun when I'm cooking, honey. So, we got that. Let me wash my hands. Now we're gonna move on to the chicken. Move on to the chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Move this out the way. Put that right back there. We're gonna move our wood cut board out the way. And we're gonna bring the meat cutter board here. Now, I've already cleaned my legs and thighs. And what I mean by cleaning, I mean making sure that there's no chicken feathers left on the chicken. And normally right here on the chicken thigh, it's like a big fat, Big fat me right here. So I took I took that off and uh, all the extra fat that was lingering. So now we're gonna season our chicken. I'm gonna season it with some seasoning salt. And black pepper. I almost forgot the black pepper. That's all right. Sometimes we forget. As long as you remember. Do you remember? Oh, when we fell in love. <laughs> yeah, so season salt and black pepper on uh, both sides. But when I get to the top side, I'm going to take some paper towel and I'm going to. Uh, pat it dry and I'm doing that so that when I put my mustard glaze on top it will stick to the skin of the meat okay now that I pat that dry we're gonna put this nasty sucker in the garbage can that's what we're gonna do 
And now we're, we're gonna repeat the step. Season the salt. And fresh cracked up. And you can choose whatever brand of seasoning you like. These are some big thighs and legs. That's why I'm only using three too, because they're kind of huge. But if you got regular size, use four. Once again, this recipe can be used for a family of four, okay? Now, now that we got our lead quarters seasoned, we're gonna take them and put them on top of our vegetables. Preferably, they can sit on, on here. Get it in. Mama is gonna get it in there. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so I got it on there. Make sure you use a larger casserole pan, but that's good. Once it cooks down, it's gonna be fine. Let me get this out the way, and we're gonna move to the next step. So now that we got all our vegetables prepared, we got our chicken seasoned, and we sit it on top of the vegetables, now we're gonna make up the glaze that's gonna go over our chicken, okay? So, I got a bowl here. I got a few uh, fresh thyme sprigs, and I'm just going to take the thyme off the sprig into my bowl. You want to use fresh thyme, okay? Discard the branches. Now, we're going to use six, around six tablespoons of, I got ground Dijon mustard here. And I'm really just eyeballing, but I'm telling you, I'm going to use six, okay? I also have I'm gonna put about a half a teaspoon of red crushed peppers. Now, if you don't like spicy food, you can definitely skip this part, okay? And next, we're gonna add maple syrup. About two to three tablespoons. And we're gonna stir that. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Stir it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna give it a taste. Ooh, that's good. We put a little more must maple in there. That's good. So stir it and then got your cup in there. I'm gonna add just a pinch, just a pinch of salt. I know it's some on the chicken, but I just want a little in there, okay? And we're gonna start adding it on our chicken. Gonna spread it over your chicken. Spread it evenly over your chicken. Making sure that you got it all over the whole chicken leg quarter. Okay. Oh, that looks so, so, so good. So I got all my every little drop. All my mustard, maple glaze on my chicken. And this is how it looks. And now we're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees until done. Make sure when you take your chicken out that your chicken, the internal temperature is 165 degrees because our ovens differ. So your oven 
may be different than mine, so just make sure you tip it, okay? Get your meat th thermometer, tip your chicken at the thickest part of your chicken, and then make sure that the internal temperature is 165, okay? I'm gonna put this in uncovered, and then when it's finished, I'll be back to show you what we got. Okay, guys, the chicken is out the oven. I tempted it, it's up to 165, so this is great. I'm gonna let it rest, and then we go. Matter of fact, I'm gonna play it. I wanna taste it in front of it, okay? But I want you to see it. This is a close-up. Yeah, it's a close-up. I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see it once I plate the plate. Trying to find something to scoop everything out. Yes, I am ready. Try let me sit that over so I can get some of these potatoes and carrots that we sliced in half and put it in here. Ooh. Make it look sort of nice. Get my chicken there. Put it right here. I want a couple more potatoes and carrots. Well, now see what's good about this because of that maple and that mustard in there. So carrots already got a little sweetness to it. That maple. I'm gonna give it a little extra sweetness. that on over there. Sit that on top of there like so. And I'm going to get a paper towel so I can wipe the sides of my plate off. Because I hate stuff on the side of the plate. OCD. Okay. This is, let me come close. And let y'all get a, y'all see that? Y'all see that? I had to come look up, look. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that mustard? That ground mustard, Dijon mustard on that? It gave it a pretty little crust light. And y'all see our carrots and potatoes and onions and so I want you guys to try this recipe try the recipe out tell me what you think if you like it give me that thumbs up okay and I hope you all come back all right once again I'm Tanisha this is Divine Eats and I hope to see you guys next time have a great evening